My name's Zach Manchester. Stephanie Grondin. Constantine Patigan. Daniel Harlow. Taylor Wilson. And I'm a professor of planetary astrophysics. 14 years old, became the youngest person to produce nuclear fusion. Professor of theoretical physics at MIT. Third year physics and astronomy student at the University of British Columbia. Stephen Hawking was a true luminary. The idea that human beings could even ponder these things and, uh, and get close to answers to them was, I think, pretty fascinating. He made complicated physics seem intuitive and, and almost fun. He was brilliant at communicating what he did with the public and breaking down very complex scientific topics. His ability to kind of strip away all the unnecessary detail and noise of a problem and then zoom in on the core physical processes at play. I thought, oh, A Brief History of Time might be a fun read for silent reading. Stephen Hawking's Brief History of Time. Masterpieces which were at the level of a Beethoven symphony or a Michelangelo sculpture. Super deep questions, right? Like, how did it all begin? The origins of the universe and kind of how we got here. As I was reading it, I thought to myself, this is what I have to do with my life. He inspired a whole new generation of young people and people in general to think about science, to think about physics, uh, and to think about the cosmos in a way that maybe they wouldn't have otherwise. He's just been an inspiration for all of us as scientists, but of course also as a human being. He overcame a tremendous degree of personal hardship, and yet managed to maintain a hilarious sense of humor throughout his life. Somewhat of a mischievous sense of humor, he enjoyed pranks and inappropriate jokes. Stephen Hawking, of course, was a torchbearer for a generation, but the physicist he inspired will go forth and do amazing things. He's shown us that don't be afraid to dream. You never know what you're what you can come up with.